Hello and welcome to episode, I believe, episode 9, I think, of Euro Truck, Random Euro Truck Simulator 2. So we're currently um, in Brussels, in the centre of Brussels, um, at this parking lot, and or hotel even, and we now need to find out which company we're going to be picking up from. So we've just done a delivery to DB Schenker. Um, Brussels is quite spread out, so you can see a lot of the places are over there, which is a bit of a distance away. There's another one down in the south, or of course it could be where we just be, where we've just been to DB Schenker. So um, yeah, they need to just check how many companies there are in Brussels. So we have one, two, three, four. Five. Right, okay, so we need to use the random generator between one to five to see which company we're going to um, be going to. Okay, let's go for it then. So um, we always just put random numbers in at the beginning. So it's between numbers one to five. So we're going to number two. Let's have a look. I can't remember what that is. I wasn't really paying attention. Let's have a look. Right, so this is an interesting one because number two is the supermarket chain Carf Carrefour. Um, there's only one job available. It's to a place in Germany called Bad Oinhausen. However, the offer expires in 36 minutes. So if it takes us longer than 36 minutes to drive to car four from where we're located now, then that job's not going to be there. Presumably that will be replaced with a new um, location. So I don't think we're going to make it. Let's have a look anyway, because that's definitely where we're going. We're definitely going to car four. Let's see how long the route planner says it's going to take for us to get there. Maybe we'll just make it. Um, so we go to the world map. No, we're not going to make it because it's a very long distance. It's 60 kilometers away just to make our pickup. That's what I said with Brussels. It's quite spread out. So it's going to take us 58 minutes to get there. So that job will no longer be available. So it's quite exciting because it means we've I've got no idea where we're going to be heading to because that job will presumably be replaced by something different to a completely different destination. Um, so yeah, let's head out over to Carrefour and see what's available for us once we get there. Okay, so we are off to car four um, to hopefully do a job. Um, if there is one going, uh, let's get going then. Ready. So I have since had a look um, and Brussels has been re reworked by ProMods. I had a look at the original map of Brussels um, and it looks pretty bland. ProMods have added in uh, a ring road around Brussels, which I presume is lifelike. I'm not familiar with Brussels. Turn right. So anyway, we've got a long, right. a longish journey now just to make our pick up from the car for supermarket 61 kilometers it's going to take almost an hour of in-game game time to get there so I hope there is going to be a job there waiting for us once we arrive because we're not going to make the one to bad or in the house oh bit too much on that or not enough on it I should say Got them all over the place. 
Right, so we get to have another little look, an even deeper look into Pro Mods Brussels map. What can we see? Turn right. I mean, it's not exactly as impressive as the, as the London map. Um, well, as well, the city of London from uh, Pro Mods. But it's all right. It's not bad. Go straight on. Come on, mate. You're not moving. It's down there. Go straight on. So this is rather exciting because we have no idea where we're going. We don't even have a list of like places available that the, the random number generator would then choose. We literally could be going anywhere within a 700 kilometer radius from Brussels. Keep left, and then turn left. I mean, if I had to kind of give my preference to where we go, whew, I'm fairly flexible, fairly open to most most places. I mean, I would like to head east, as I've mentioned before. So possibly, um, why is it changing the route? What's going on? What is going on here? Okay, so I would like to go maybe to to um, the Berlin area. I think Berlin's about 700 kilometers east of Brussels, roughly. So that place we just saw on the um, on the sign, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but it was Luik, L-U-I-K. So that is uh, the Dutch and Flemish way of saying Liège. So in, in French it's Liège, and in um, English, well, yeah, in English we also say Liège. Looks like we're coming to it already, because I can see I. Ikea there, which we're heading to car four, which is next to Ikea, even though it's still showing us 20 kilometers. I'm a little bit confused. We can't be we're right next to it. Okay. Weird. I do find that sometimes, like the kilometres don't always seem to go down the same, like the same, what's the word, the same speed, like that, like that we've just gone from 20 kilometres a second ago to now 10 kilometres without barely driving. Other times, especially when you're driving in the city, kilometres go down really, really slowly, like in, when we were in Plymouth, for example, back in episode four. Anyway, let's zoom in. Keep right. Then turn right. Turn right.
you know what we might actually still make that job because I think we've got oh we've got five minutes left it looks like if I'm not mistaken from what it says on the display four minutes are we gonna make the bad Oina housing job looks like we're probably not it's like we're just gonna miss out I think let's see gonna be touch and go do I even want the job yeah why not I'd take it let's see we're we gonna make it one minute <laughs> we've arrived have we made it in time for the battle in the, in the housing job zero minutes it looks like it's gone is it here let's have a look no it's gone we're going to Munich instead that's all right oh lovely it's a nice long journey long as in maximum 750 kilometers is the most we can travel so for this stage um, and we are heading to Munich um, so I am more than happy with that because we're heading in a south easterly direction getting well away from the UK which is where we started from um, and yeah we could be then heading on to well who knows where we could be heading on to from there but yeah Munich is up next let's take the job okay okay here we go, here we go. Right. Oh no, I think when it says minutes, sorry, I'm getting confused. When it says minutes, that's how many minutes you've got until you arrive at the destination. It's not to do with how many minutes are left on the previous job. Okay, I stand corrected. Well, I've corrected myself. Fair enough. So I was never going to make that bad Oina housing job, after all. There we go. So let's have a little look to see our route. Maybe I might make a few changes possibly. So, okay, heading out of the Brussels, the outskirts of Brussels, going via Liège, over into Germany, near Cologne, going around there. Route three. Yeah, I mean it looks the most direct and obvious route. Let's just zoom in here. So yeah, I don't see any reason to change it. The only thing I could possibly do. 701 kilometers. What happens if we go this way? 721. Yeah. In Ten hours, 32 minutes. So yeah, that's longer. So there we go. Um, so it's a drive mainly through Germany. Oh, what have I just done there? Oh, it could go that way via Luxembourg. But that's also longer. Um, okay, well let's get this show on the road then. Okay, so we've got a few things to talk about on this journey, this long, my longest journey so far, um, as we head to um, Drive safe. Drive safe. Munich. So let's start with Munich first of all, as I always like to talk about my destination city in terms of my real life experience there. This will be nice and easy and quick to talk about because I've never been to Munich. So there's nothing really to talk about <laughs> um, with that. So moving on. Let's just get out of here first. Ooh. Is he coming? 
there is something coming. I didn't see it. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, most of this uh, trip, this journey is going to be in Germany, apart from this bit here at the beginning. And I have said before, I don't really like driving in Germany because it's such, it's got such a developed um, autobahn system. I just find it a little bit boring driving through Germany. And the cities are also not that interesting. However, I believe um, SCS have been updating Germany. I know they've been updating, they've updated most of the cities, I think, the main cities. I think some of the, possibly some of the roads as well. So we might see, well, I might see some differences to Germany on this particular trip, which hopefully I will. We are behind an Aeroflot lorry with a, a stewardess. What is that picture? It's weird. Okay. So yeah, we need to head towards Luik, which is Liège. So yeah, I'm kind of interested to see what Germany has to offer on this journey, particularly when we arrive in Munich as well. See what we can see around there. In the, around there. But even so, generally, this is not going to be a particularly exciting journey. It is just going to be on, you know, very decent, high quality um, roads. Autobahn roads. And then we're going to have this annoying situation shortly, once we arrive in Germany, where the speed limit is going to drop to 80 kilometers per hour. I've also got to be wary of, well, petrol's not going to be a, a problem in this particular journey. I can see that. Um, but I need to be wary of um, rest stops because I haven't had to think about that up to this point. Let me just navigate this uh, junction and then we'll, I'll look into that. I'll look more into that shortly. Keep left. Let's have a look then at the situation with the rest stop. So I'm gonna, I'm scheduled to arrive in about nine and a half hours. Um, if I press F6, I think it is, it tells me, I re okay, I am gonna need to, to keep left, I think it was. I, I am gonna need to have a rest um, on this journey. How long until we've got 24 hours? So that shouldn't be a problem. How long do I need to sleep? Is it normally five or six hours we sleep? I'm not sure, seven hours? But this isn't one of those um, urgent deliveries. So it's not a problem. Now what, one mistake I often make when I play this game is that I don't time the rest stops very well. I kind of think to myself, oh, I'll just, Coach, doing there? Get out of the way. Thank you. I often kind of think, oh, I'll go to the next rest stop, and then I end up um, 
there ends up not being one for, for many, many kilometers, and I end up having a big problem. Um, what I really I should be doing is checking this information before I leave and plan which specific rest stop I'm going to stop at. So I'm just going to play it safe. I think maybe once we get down to, I don't know, 400 kilometers, I'll probably just stop somewhere at the, at the nearest place. Right, am I in the wrong lane? I think I am. We want Aachen and Eupen. Eupen, Eupen. I think um, Aachen in French is something like Aix la Chapelle. It's a completely different word. So already at the border between Belgium and um, Germany. As I said, the speed limit is going to drop very shortly, which is annoying. Unless the rules, are, unless the laws have changed in Germany since I last played this game. Let's see. No, it's 80 kilometers. So Germany becomes country number four um, for us. Following on from England, France, Belgium, and now of course Germany. And I'm breaking the speed limit. This is gonna be a regular <laughs> thing here because it's difficult to stay at 80 kilometers. quite a nice distance to drive to be honest 700 kilometers it's like not too far but it's not too um, but it's far enough to sort of have a nice little ride whereas up to now up to this point all the journeys have been a little bit too short for my liking but of course as we go through the game through the series and once we unlock more longer distances well we could be we could be traveling thousands and thousands of kilometers the world will become our oyster Okay, keep left, wrong lane. So we're heading towards Siegburg, never heard of it. So I think I'm gonna go for a rest stop in about a hundred kilometers. And then the good thing is, when we after the after have the little sleep, um, it will be light. Hopefully. Well, I could even stop here theoretically. I'm not going to. Let's just have a look. That's a little bit too early. Like I say, I usually leave it to as late as possible and it just creates stress and start to panic. Frankfurt, Maine. So I know there's, there's two Frankfurts in Germany, Frankfurt, Maine and Frankfurt, Order. So I think that's, as it looks like in English, Frankfurt, Maine. <laughs> and Frankfurt Ava. So Frankfurt Oder is near the Polish border, I think. 
east of Berlin, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly. So we're in a different state now, in Germany. Ah, I keep going too fast. What's that? That's a train. Oh, I was misread. Hang on, how many kilometers have I got left? Ah, 490. Wow, okay. Um, I thought I had like 400 left, okay. Um, yeah, it's a bit early to stop for a break. Well, I did say I don't think I didn't think this was going to be a particularly exciting journey, and it's not. <laughs> it is just pure autobahn driving, and it doesn't help that it, we're driving in the pitch black with no um, lights. You know what you call them, street light things, whatever they're called. I don't think it's going to get particularly any more interesting um, as the journey goes on, to be honest. Maybe once we get to Munich and see what that looks like. Hopefully it's been reworked by SCS recently. But yeah, Germany is not a place I particularly like driving in. Is this guy overtaking me or not? Is that another train up there, is it? Or is it just lights? It's just lights. Right, I'm going too fast again. I think I will stop at the next rest stop. There doesn't seem to be one approaching. Um, we're already getting towards 400 kilometers. So I think I'll, I'll play it safe and stop at the next one. Plus I don't, because I don't like driving through the dark. I want to, be, I want to get light, light as soon as possible. And I found a new friend here. And I can't seem to get rid of him. What is that? Looks like we're both breaking the speed limit, hey buddy? <laughs> yeah, I'm, de I'm definitely going to stop at the next um, rest stop. Oh, it's you again. Hello. You finally going to overtake me? Are there really no lights here, like in real life? Is it really this dark? Surely they've got lights along here. I was going fast, wow.
Right, no sign of a rest stop. I've, we're already under 400 kilometers now to go. Keep left. How can I keep left if this bloke's in my way? <laughs> it's okay, this lane is fine. This is classed as keeping left, fortunately. I can't get rid of this guy. I could just let him pass, but what would be the fun in that? It looks like there's a photo opportunity coming up. Is that Frankfurt Airport? I should imagine. I'm going to actually stop, probably illegally, to take this photo. Um, can I stop here? I'll pretend I've broken down. And then get a photo. So just about here we'll be okay. There we go. Right. Let's get the old camera out. Where is it? Hang on. Why is it not recognizing it as the airport? That's no good. Maybe I need to move forward a little bit. Let's move forward a little bit. This is really dangerous. I wouldn't recommend doing this at home, guys. I mean, isn't that the photo thing there? I might... Let's try again. One more time. Last chance. No, it's not working. Well, I'll take a picture anyway for the hell of it as I've gone to all this effort. Congress Center. Right, let's go. Breaking the speed limit again. I forgot I'm in Germany. Still no rest stop. Hasn't been one for absolutely ages. I saw a few off the road, on different roads, on the map. Nothing for us. Breaking the speed limit again. And again. <laughs> right, he must be heading straight. Is Munich on the map? It is München. Keep left. Okay, I am keeping left. I actually will really be needing a rest stop soon. Like I'm actually going to get to my limit, I think, soon. Three hours, 55 minutes. There's still time. It's 
got to be a rest stop coming up soon. This is ridiculous. <laughs> this is like a major autobahn. There's no rest stops along here. A major autobahn heading from northern Germany to southern Germany. Mental. I don't mind breaking the speed limit by one or two kilometers. Okay, we're actually turning off. Well, this is crazy. I'm going to start yawning soon. Not me personally, but my in-game character will. Do you require some sleep? Oh, it's dangerous. I haven't crashed yet, and I don't intend to. I think the only kind of collision of any kind I've had in this whole series was when I arrived, which would have been episode two of the Channel Tunnel. I kind of scraped. Um, the side of my trailer. But it was fine. It didn't like count as any as any damage. I just can't believe how long we've gone without a rest stop on the road. That is incredible. It's got to be some kind of record. Definitely got to be something I've got to be wary of going forward. I need to pre-plan it. Well, I'm not, I haven't got a clue when the next one's going to be. We're, we're due one. We're due, a, we're due a few. Probably be like London buses. You'll probably suddenly get two or three in a close proximity of each other. How long have we got? Only two and a half hours. I'm starting to get a little hurried. <laughs> Where is the next rest stop? This is mental. Got hundreds and hundreds of kilometers without a single rest stop. Single, single service station en route. And still no sign of one. Yeah, it was me talking about, yeah, Stopping at, I don't know, 400, 450 kilometers. And here we are with 200 kilometers to go and still no sign of one. And it's already getting lighter. I wanted to stop early to, so that I could, so that it would get light quicker. Oh, right, straight on. Innsbruck and Munich.
Innsbruck is a lovely city, by the way. I have been there. So perhaps when SCS updated this game, or the Germany map, did they like take away mistakenly all the service stations? And, and just forgot to put them back in or something? Because it's, I've never seen anything like this. In all my years of playing this game, I don't think I've ever gone this long without seeing a service station. I'm not exaggerating. Fortunately, it doesn't matter so much at the moment. Probably still think I'm going to be okay. How long have we got now? One hour, 40 minutes. Still think we're going to be okay. If we get to under an hour, and we still haven't got one, I, I will start to get a little worried. There we go, that's the first yawn. This is why I keep saying I should have pre-planned this. I should have looked on the map and planned where I was going to stop. And if I'd have known there wasn't going to be one for this long, I would have stopped at that, but the previous one, which was ages ago, and arguably too early. I still would have gone there and stopped there. This is just getting a little bit too risky for my liking. I mean, nothing that bad happens, you just, you don't like, I don't think you actually fall asleep at the wheel, you just get fined for it. What have we got going on on the left? So yeah, I mean, this journey has been mostly about the lack of rest stops. Oh, seriously, there's got to be one coming up soon. Let me zoom out. Does that show them on the map or not? I'm not sure. Yeah, it does. And there isn't one. There honestly is not one. There's one if you turn off, which I'm not going to do. This is mental. Absolutely mental. Keep right, and then exit right. It is now light. Exit right. Go straight on. Hang on, where are we going? Move straight on. I did say go straight on. So yeah, we're now getting to red levels. Look at that. Desperate measures. I'll have a look again. I'm going to zoom out on the map and see if there's a, um, a rest stop. Hang on a minute, let me get past this first. Let's see, is there one coming up? There really isn't, is there? There genuinely isn't. Oh no, there is. There is one. There is one. See, if I'd have planned this properly, right, I wouldn't have been panicking. I would have just known, okay, there's one there. Well, no, I've, I've cut, I'll tell you what, I've, this is I'm cutting it fine. I'm going to be okay, but only just as we now arrive in Bavaria. Finally, 
Just inside. Right, let me just zoom in. The rest stop, I think. We'll go this way. Oh, is that right? There we go. Probably, no, in my luck, I probably actually missed the rest stop. I think it's here. Yeah. Unbelievable. That was just stressful. Because anyway, once we get, once after we've made this drop off in Munich, I'm going to just go to sleep again. I always do that, just so that I'm starting the the new journey fresh. Not have to work, you know. Just it just helps. But yeah, it's much nicer driving in the daytime when you can actually see the surroundings. It makes a big difference for me. Finally, I can sit back and relax. <laughs> I mean, UH Truck Simulator is supposed to be a relaxing game, really, but not when you desperately need a rest stop. And there isn't one for, for miles and miles and miles. We've got a traffic jam. What's this? What's going on? What's all this? Keep left. Keep left, okay. Look, the, the road is changing. It's become really bright. So Munich's obviously a big city, right? So I'm hoping we're going to see some interesting things. We're getting very close to our destination now. And no sign of the city really. Well, there is actually. There's a big tower block in front. Uh, and another one. Okay, we are coming into Munich. So I'm going to zoom in. Like even if we don't see much of Munich now, we might see more um, later when I go to my next job. Might have to drive across the city like we did with um, Brussels. Seems as though we're going away from the city in this direction, I think. The little supermarket there. Take the 
Keep left. What do you mean keep left? Ah, oh, okay, I get it, yeah. Oh, we have to keep left, okay. Go straight on? No. Don't confuse me now. And then continue straight on. Ah, oh, look at that. Some buildings we can see there. Some landmarks maybe of the city in the distance. Turn left. Zentrum to the left. I presume what we can see in front of us is some kind of famous landmark of Munich. I'm not familiar with the city, so I don't know. Right, let's go to the left. Where is the parking spot? There, okay. It should be, oh, it's, yeah, simply enough, it is in between two trailers though, which makes it a little bit more tricky. It should be okay. I find these ones, as I mentioned before, a bit difficult. I prefer the traditional trailer. These kind of turn a little bit too much. I find them more difficult to control. Careful. Let's try again. Okay, it looks like we've got it. Just be careful, don't overdo it. That's fine, there we go, we're in. Okay, so that point, whatever you call it, we're going to um, allocate in the next episode using the random number generator. So we'll leave that for now. I now need to find the nearest parking area. Let's see where we are. Okay, I need to go back to where I came from. And there is a petrol station with presumably looks like a sleeping area there. Well, as you've got to go around the roundabout, I might as well actually just go to this one. It'll be easier.
we'll go there it's not very far okay ready to ready roll. To roll. Now, I have said before, sometimes these um, rest rest stops can be actually be quite far from your delivery point. Yeah, so Munich looks pretty big on this game. Quite a lot of roads around the city area. Um, I'll have a proper look at the map later. But potentially, yeah, our next job in Munich could be another long distance. Like getting there could be quite a long distance. Like with in Br like with Brussels, where we had to travel sixty. I think it was sixty-one kilometers just to get to the pickup location. Unless it's somewhere like DSV or the place I've just dropped off, then obviously it's not going to be very far. So we're very much in a different part of the world now from where we had been in the first God knows how many episodes. We were stuck around uh, the UK and Northern France. Now we're in Southern Germany. So that was, we could go there. I don't have to go around the roundabout. Um, there was parking there. Yeah, you know what? I will go here. Ooh, I always crashed. Oof, I did not see that car. <laughs> no reason why I can't cut across there. Right. Let's go for a sleep. Here we go. Okay, it's pitch black. So that is the end of today's episode. Thank you for watching. See you again soon.